are actually on our way to meet the Brad and Judy and true legend. I can tell you my heart, when the Brad first came on the Tamron Hall show, the very first conversation we had was her opening up about her sexuality and the journey to being very open with the public about who she is. And she visited us the next time with Judy and talked about their journey to motherhood. And I believe the third time she was on was after uh, they confirmed that they in fact had conceived and were revealing deeply personal details that they didn't have to share about their child and the journey to becoming mothers together. So I'm very excited. Um, we're traveling to their home. The baby is only four months old, so they're not ready to put the baby on the plane and meet the Tam Fam in studio. But I was very excited and honored to be invited to their home, to their sanctuary, to their safe space, to meet the most important person in their lives right now. And after some time in Atlanta's slightly infamous traffic, we arrive gifts in hand to see our friends DeBrat and Judy at their home right outside the city. This is my favorite. Leave your mess at the door. I like it. All right, here we go. Oh my God! Thank I gotta you so go much. wash my hands before I touch you. <laughs> I'm That's true, Megan. You want a hug already? Look at you. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Listen, Look I've seen on. pictures, but there is nothing like this real thing. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, thank you. And y'all don't look too tired, girl. I'm tired. <laughs> Can you believe it? No. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll have to dig into it. Yeah. Why we got a no and we got a yeah. I love it. Okay. A quick washing of my hands, and I got to get me some true legend time. We made our way to their living room to hear how life has changed and trying to balance being new moms with work from Judy's multi million dollar beauty business Kaleidoscope to the reality show The Brat Loves Judy, as well as The Brat's legendary music career and co hosting gigs on the popular syndicated Ricky Smiley radio show and the Fox TV show Dish Nation. Breathing it all in, mm -hmm. how do you describe life right now? I love life right now. I love being his mommy. She's his mama. I'm his mommy. So, ma mommy, mommy and, and mama. mama. Yeah. Like and I I don't know, it's just like a miracle and I'm just happy and elated every day and I just count my blessings every day. I just feel special, like I feel like, you know, God granted me the, 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 the blessing to have him. I'm so, tired a lot. <laughs> I don't get much sleep. I haven't really got, gotten used to like the schedule, but I just, you know, I do what I have to do to be a great mommy. I was thinking on my way over here the first time I interviewed you, mm -hmm. and the focus of that interview was the brat revealing that she was in love. And oh, yeah. We were in the basement. <laughs> and that you wow. had decided to reveal to the world yep. that you were coming out, and yep. that's the language. So true. And this relief, right? And I thought I saw joy then because you had been living under this cloud. Mm -hmm. But what's that song? This is full joy now. Yeah, like the full circle. I have everything now. What has um, these first few months been like? What's, what's the rhythm? Have you found the rhythm? I think I found the rhythm. I, I, or is there a rhythm to find? I just do what I, I have to do. Like I get up and go to work. I get up at 4.30. I leave for work at around 5. I get there around 5.45. I do radio from 6 to 10. I get makeup, then I do Dish Nation, and then I'm ready to run home. I, I, we FaceTime all, all day long so I can see these guys. And... Judy, you said she FaceTimes 20 times from work. <laughs> well, when I wake up, I have to send her a picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, she feels like something's wrong. So yeah. I wake up, let her send a picture, let him know he's here, he's happy, he's smiling, he's eating. And then FaceTime her when I know she's on her makeup break. Mm -hmm. And send videos while she's doing dish. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to miss anything. But I don't want to like stop my life at the same time, you know, because I love my jobs. I'm grateful for my jobs. But at one point she was like, you can be a stay home mom. I don't want to be a she, stay she home mom. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a stay-home mom. I have to contribute. Right. So I, I offered that because I knew how I know how she is. Yeah. I know how she would be. Oh my God! I don't want to be away from the baby, and I feel like as a great partner, it should at least be an option. Yeah. But but that's the 
interesting part of all of our lives and so many women watching right now it's that desire to be with your child but also you love what you do yeah and you both love what, what you, you do, do. you sure. love each other and you love true legend mm -hmm. judy for you i asked brett how do you describe life right now how how is it for you because this has been a lot of eyes on her but a lot of eyes on you because this was a big leap from a private successful businesswoman to a public person discussing your whole family in front of the world i think it's something that i couldn't have never imagined you know it's, it's like i didn't i didn't have this written out for my life it wasn't on the goal list but i felt like i texted her the other day like this is like living a fairy tale you know one to not only be in a loving relationship but to have a partner that absolutely adores a child that you made together and like, adores her wife it. as well i know that beautiful don't leave that part out. <laughs> and, and it's just, it's, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, it makes me feel like all of the stuff that's happened in the past that just was like crazy, bad, awful, you know, like all of that's wiped away. Cause this, if, if all of that had to lead up to this, I would do it all over again. When you first met her and you all started to feel that way about each other, <laughs> as she described on the show, what did you think you were signing up for? Um, I didn't know. I was a little scared, to be honest, <laughs> because she was not only a celebrity, but she was private. So I didn't know what I could say, what I could do. Am I supposed to take her to the movies and surprise her, or can we not go to the movies? Like, I didn't, and then when I sent, I would never forget, I sent her flowers for Valentine's Day one year, but she had got flowers from like eight other people. I didn't know what I was signing up for. And then also, <laughs> I'm so used to people, like my love language is like giving. I'm so used to people just accepting, accepting. She, she, in the beginning, she turned all of that stuff down. And I was like, what, what is this, what is, what is, what? Because I'm at the studio working with Jermaine Dupri, we're working on a new project, and she comes in, her assistant comes in with this huge Fendi bag. There's like a trench coat, some glasses, a backpack, some shoes, some sunglasses. I'm like, what? I was like, what is this? And she said, send it all back. I said, I don't want that. Send it back. What is, for what? It's and not I'm my there. birthday. Imagine me, I'm like. She's offended. Because <laughs> your love language is giving. I had to learn that. And what is your love language? Service. Acts of service. Acts of service. You wanted to do things. Yeah. I don't want her to around. do anything ever. I don't want her to wash a dish. I don't want her to pick up any poop. I don't want her to, wa to wash a dog, wash clothes. That's all my stuff. I love being domestic. I love washing clothes, folding them, cleaning up, cleaning the baseboards, just making sure the house is tidy. That's, that's, that's what I like to do. Like, and anything she needs me to do and anything he needs, like, I just love doing stuff. So it sounds like over this time and then bringing in True Legend, you had to learn to receive the things she wanted to give. Yeah. And I'm sure as an independent woman most of your life, you had to learn to say someone else can do it. Mm -hmm.